Okay. I get a lot of the natural honey. So what's up, everybody? Crystal here, and um, before May gets too far away for me, I wanted to do a video about my skincare routine, which is something that is like 100% brand new for me because I've never, like, <laughs> I guess it's because I'm getting older, like my skin is starting to catch up with me. I don't know, but I'm 29. So, you know, being younger, I've never had to deal with skin issues. My skin will just automatically like be good and pretty and glowing. But now I find that I do have to invest in my skincare and being pregnant with baby number three. This was one big thing for me because in my with my last two pregnancies, my son and my daughter, my skin was, it got very bad during pregnancy. So with my son, I got a lot of, like a lot, a lot of acne and I cannot stand when I get acne and I like to pick at stuff. So I had a lot of dark spots and stuff like that. But after having him, my skin didn't take that long to clear back up. Same with my daughter. It wasn't as bad with her, but it was the same. And I didn't take any steps like I didn't do any skincare routines or anything because I've never been into that but this time around as I you know I'm on a journey to get healthier um, I definitely want to I decided to invest in my skincare products so to to kind of minimize what my skin does during this pregnancy and so far so good I'm five months in I think I'm five months in <laughs> to this pregnancy. So, yeah, today I'm 20 weeks, which would be five months, I think, or something like that. But um, I decided that, you know, I wanted to take better care of my skin. Ouch. Sorry. Hit him with the elbow and everything. So I just wanted to show what products I decided to invest in and some things that I've done for April because April was the month of me just buying different things to get my skin on the right track and kind of used to some products. So I guess after I have the baby, it won't be that hard to kind of get back into. I know my body will have to adjust to getting back to normal and I'm deciding to breastfeed, which is a good thing. So that should help my skin, but I'm trying to eat as good as I can. I won't say I eat clean, clean, but I eat very good this pregnancy. I eat a lot of greens. I crave a lot of vegetables and um, fruits and stuff like that. So that's a good thing. But um, so yeah, April was the month for me to just invest in myself and my skincare. Now, so, so far for this pregnancy, my skin has been I would say excellent. I'm not even going to say up and down because I haven't had a lot of bumps. I haven't like, you know, I get them here and there. And I've noticed that every pregnancy, my problem was always down here. And like it was just always down here and it would be on one side of my face. So I think with my daughter, my skin problems was on this side. So I would have a lot of acne on this is my left side. So it would be here and just a lot of like, but this time around, I think it, it's been good. And I'm planning on this being the last baby. So, you know, it's been down here a little bit. I'll get something here. But I was kind of afraid to try new things because I'm pregnant. And, you know, you really don't have any control over your hormones when you're pregnant. You know, what happens, happens. But I do believe that you have a lot of control over you know, you can have somewhat of a control because of what you're putting in your body. And I think I've been eating pretty good. So let's jump into it. So first I invested in um, a couple products after doing a lot of research. Um, and I think the first thing I bought was, which I had seen floating around Instagram and Facebook, a Facebook group that I'm in. I've seen... Um, 
floating around Instagram and stuff like that. This is the Indian Healing Clay. It is um, a mask. So it's like it's 100% natural calcium ben bentonite clay. And oh, focus. And you can use this. I hope when you're looking at because it looks backwards on here. So I hope when you're looking at this, but I have links for all of this stuff. But I did a lot of research before I bought this, and um, it works for a lot of stuff. Like I think my skin has to get used to it because so far I think I've only done this mask three times, and I bought it like late March or first week of, week of April. But I know it's good to do like a deep cleansing, you know, once every, I do it, I try to do it once every week, but this stuff is really strong and I use it. Well, first it can be used with for facials, acne. So I got to definitely keep my acne down, body wraps, clay baths, foot soaks, knee packs, insect bites. It can be used for so much stuff. I even read where I'm, I'm about to do. Because a part of this journey is finding products that are as natural as possible. Like, I can use in my kitchen and what some a lot of other things. And um, this stuff can be used for everything. And um, soon I'm going to be doing like an underarm detox to eliminate the toxins from using um, deodorants in the store. Like, that contain different chemicals and aluminum and all that stuff from what I understand it's not good so I'm gonna use this to detox along with the apple cider vinegar and essential oil but I'll get into that when I decide to start doing that because I have to order my oils but I've used this three times so far and I guess it's working or it's helping with what I'm doing um I mix it with apple cider vinegar which is something else I also use and water and um, you leave it on for like 10 to 15 minutes and you feel it tightening and it's like cleansing so you feel it tightening when it's on it gets hard you know like clay and you feel it tightening when it's on and then once you remove it it feels kind of I want to say it burns a little bit but one thing I do notice the next day I get like one or two bumps in like two places and it's always here, which I know like I just got rid of the bump that was here after doing the mask. But I guess because it's pulling out everything, but I guess after I keep using it, it's very strong. But after I keep using it and let my skin get used to it, I'm sure it, it will adjust. So this was one product I invested in and I paid four. $15 for this or $10 it's on Amazon but I bought it from Thrive Market and um, my two bottles of ACV which you can buy anywhere Walmart Whole Foods Trader Joe's wherever you live you can get this now I'll put the link for this in the description box that's one thing that I invested in now this outside of vinegar once again is another product that can be used for everything it's good externally and internally of course so I use this for a few different things not only do I mix it with my mask but I use it as a toner and um oh man I didn't bring my bowl in here that I also bought for my mask or just to use to mix different things but um I use this as a toner and I use it for heartburn <laughs> With, but you do dilute it with water, of course. So I'll take like two caps full of this and mix it with like eight ounces of water and drink it, especially when I'm having heartburn or what do you call this? Um, acid reflux or something. And it works like that. So I use this on my skin as a toner. I drink it like two times a day with eight ounces of water. And I put it on my salad. I use it in my food. I like... I bought Tums because Tums is what I was using for my heartburn for my last two pregnancies. But this, baby, if you're not a believer in apple cider vinegar and it has to be Bragg's, the original, like, apple cider vinegar, I would suggest that you put this in your skincare routine and in your kitchen. So, it's, it's gluten-free and unpasteurized and it's good for you. So, I use this in my mask and as a toner and I drink it. So, this is the part... 
of my skincare routine because it's just good. And I know for your pH as a woman, it kind of keeps your, ba your body balanced. It's good for your skin. So this was another product that I use for skincare. Another thing I decided to buy was the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Clear and Balance Problem Skin Facial System with tamarind and tea tree oil. And it's to clear and balance blemished oily skin. So it cleans and exfoliate and moisturize and treat calm and balance control. And this was $20 at Target. And it comes with, um, it's like this box and it comes like that and it tells you what's in it. And you know, they sell these products individually. But it comes with like this four ounce. Are you interrupting me? Yeah. Is it a difference because it's gluten free? Did you taste it? Um. My husband made me oatmeal for breakfast. I love his oatmeal. And I buy gluten-free oatmeal. He's the best. So good. Mm. I haven't had my breakfast this morning. But this comes with, okay, so it tells you on the back of the box so it comes in it. So it comes with the Daily Wash African Black Soap Face and Body Bar, which is, I'll show you, because I have, I've used this every night. And now I just started using it like two times a day. But I have it wrapped in this. And um, I don't want to show you how it looks because it looks gross because I've been using it. But it's a small bar of African Black Soap. And then it also comes with the... African Black Soap Problem Skin Facial Wash and Scrub, which is this. And this is a four ounce. And you use this once or twice a week. So, so far, I think I've only used this like twice. Because um, I tried to use, because I don't want to do both of these, you know, too close together. So I've been using this more, but this is once or twice a week. And that's the facial scrub. And then it comes with the Hydrate and Balance African Black Soap Problem Skin Moisturizer, which is this. I don't, I don't really like it because this is one of the moisturizers where you put it on and it makes your face look ashy. So if I wore this, then I would have to put on something on top of it. Um, I don't know. But it's tamarind extract and tea tree oil. So I think I've only used this like two times. Two times so far. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm not putting it in good enough, but it comes with that. And this is a two ounce. And it comes with the Control and Refine African Black Soap Problem Skin Facial Mask. And this is, it all has tamarind extract and tea tree oil in it. So, yeah. And I think you do this. What well, have I you I haven't even used this yet, I don't think. I can't remember if I've used this yet, but this is how it looks. So and you use this once or twice a week. So I haven't used this mask yet. So I've been paying attention to some of the ingredients that's in the Shea Moisture. Products and um, the ben the bentonite clay, which I just showed you, is in these. But things like sulfur and 
all these big names. Um, it, it's not the things that I want to be using on my face because, like I said, I'm trying to go as natural as possible. So, haven't really used that. But I think for $20, it's a good step in the right direction if you're trying to regulate your skin. Um, cause the products that comes in it is a pretty decent size. So I couldn't tell you how long this is supposed to last. Cause I don't use the products faithfully on thing. Like I said, as I use the soap. So I went ahead and bought another bar. This was on sale at Walgreens. So I went ahead and bought another bar for when I run out of my little bar that came in the box. This is like $3 at Walgreens. So, you know, black African black soap. But I'm planning on investing in the natural, like straight from Africa black soap. Um, I saw Janelle B. Stewart. She was selling it at one point. So I'm going to go back and check her out and see if she still has it. But that's one thing that I've purchased. And like I said, I think it's a good investment for $20 to start. Um, but it tells you here, like, the stuff that they don't put in their products. I mean, I use Shea Moisture for, I have the body washes. I use the shampoo, all-in-one shampoo and conditioner for my daughter and the um, leave-in moisturizer for her hair. So this has no parabens, no paraffin mineral oil some big words synthetic fragrance no synthetic color no animal testing no sulfate so still doing research on these different types of things that they put in products but this is a good step target twenty dollars now another thing i use coconut oil i um i bought this from sam's and um had it for a while now and this is going to last me a long time. But I use this. There's so much stuff floating around in this thing. I don't know if because I keep it in my bedroom so it gets like hot, cold, hot, cold. But I use coconut. I started using coconut oil instead of a moisturizer. Because I can never find a good moisturizer for my face. So I use this as a moisturizer on my skin and my hair and I mix it with lotion and um it's a good thing to have so in the mornings or at night if my face is feeling dry I will use coconut oil I use it in my hair use it in my daughter's hair I'm starting to use it on my husband and my son's hair and their skin um with I'll probably do a video about my children's skincare and what I'm going to start doing because their skin is very dry. And I must admit that me and my husband, we don't take very good care of their skin like we should. Um, so I think once you start a routine with yourself for skincare, it kind of overflows over into your kids. So coconut oil is definitely one of them. Now, one thing, another thing that I purchased and invested in was essential oils. So this is Young Living Essential Oils. Did research for a long time about essential oils. About two years I debated whether I want to try it or not. And I felt like this was the right time to invest in essential oils. Because it can be used for so many different things. So I invested in essential oils. Because it could be used in your hair, on your skin, cooking, internally, topically. Um, all different reasons, emotionally, mentally, um, it can be used. So I went ahead and invested and bought me a starter kit from Young Living. And after doing research about different things, I, you know, so far I've used, um, as we all know, well, let me start with this first. I've been using the lavender essential oil and I just started using Franken frankincense on my face and lavender in my hair and um so far I've only been using frankincense for like three days 
And what I did was I researched it and how to use it for my skin. And um, what I did was took like three tablespoons, two or three tablespoons of um, coconut oil and about six to eight drops of frankincense. And dropped it in here with the coconut oil and now I use that on my face maybe once a day because the first day I used it I think I put too much on my face and one thing that it does it, it does it keeps my face like feeling really oily so I have I'm learning the amounts to use but this is another skincare routine that I've added coconut oil and frankincense as natural as possible so good investments um, and these came in my starter kit. Now, I understand that lavender is good for your skin and for your hair. I just used it in my hair this morning with coconut oil because I heard, I've read that it's good for itching. I have, like, my scalp is really, it dries. It be, it's really dry all the time. So, I drop a few drops of this and some coconut oil and I put it in my hair this morning. I have not used this on my face yet, but I'm going to do some research and make some, like, a something for my face because with all these oils it's good you have to dilute them with a carrier oil carrier oil is what they call them so coconut oil great seed oil avocado oil i'm going to be buying all those this weekend and be making a lot of stuff for my husband's beard for his skin for my kids skin so this is definitely a good investment um because they can be used for some of the peppermint all of these once you do research so um of course, I, I am a Young Living distributor since I went ahead and bought the kit. And when you buy the kit, you get a wholesale price. And they have so many more because I'm waiting on tea tree oil. I'm going to order tea tree oil for my hair um, and some other oils this weekend to for skincare and hair care. So this is a part of my skincare routine. There's a lot that goes into essential oils, so it's good to do your research, but... If you want, it's always good to buy 100% pure therapeutic oil. So these oils that you see in GNC or Walmart or, you know, they sell oils in Marshalls and TJ Maxx and all those stores. Those aren't the ones you want to buy because they're cheap and they're diluted and they got fake stuff in it. These are straight from the plants. So it's a good investment. And if you care about your skin and your health, you should be more than willing to invest in expensive products. Simple as that. That's where people mess up at because they don't want to invest in, they feel like it costs too much. So when I think when people think that way, they're saying that they don't care about their skin or their health or their hair or whatever issue that they're going through. So... <sighs> The essential oils is definitely a part of my skincare routine. So I I do post I've been posting a lot lately about this on my personal Instagram and I dedicated a Instagram page just to my essential oil journey. So I do share there and I put the links in the description box. So that's another thing my essential oils and I'm so excited about this you can diffuse these too and have your room and get your what am I looking for get your zen on or whatever so this is definitely good um another thing is of course water everybody needs that um one thing that I did find out, though, that it's good to find water that is alkaline, but that's for internal use. But, uh, yeah. Water is another thing. So, this is a liter of water. And I've been trying to make... Last week, I made a goal of drinking two liters of water a day. I did it for one day and didn't do it again. And we all know that water is very important for your skin. What you eat is very important for your skin because what you put inside your body definitely shows. So I think that's why I'm doing so good with my skin this pregnancy because I don't eat a lot of junk. I don't crave sugar. I don't eat. I don't eat that way anymore. I never really did, but like burgers and fries and fried food and greasiness and processed sugar and all that stuff, I don't really eat anymore. So I think my only problem is my water intake. 
And water is always important for your skin. So I'm trying to drink more water. I'm not going to say that I'm great at it, but I'm trying to drink more water. So this is always important for your skincare routine. So that's about it. That was my April. I dedicated April to investing in skincare products. And I didn't want it to be just for skin. I wanted it to be products that can be used in other areas of my life too. Whether it's in the kitchen or in my hair or whatever. So that's my skincare routine. And um, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. So far that's it. Yeah, but I love my essential oils. I think out of all the products that I've, per I've invested in this month, I think my essential oils are the number one thing because I'm so excited about it and excited about all the uses and what it can be used for and what it does for you. So I'll definitely put more information and you will definitely see more videos about my essential oils. So that's it for now and I'll be back soon with another video.